one of the first questions I asked him the first time I ever sat down with him was, why? You know, why did you do this? And, you know, his response was, well, because I could and because no one ever stepped in to stop me. He grew up as a University of Miami fan. I think he really liked the flash and, and, and for a lot of years the substance at the University of Miami, particularly connected to the football program. And I think he felt a sense of um, immortality. He felt like he was bulletproof. I wonder, was Nevin Shapiro, was he clandestine with this kind of stuff, or was he brazen? Was he out in the open with his payments, with his trips, with his invitations to the yacht? I talked to former players who were involved with Nevin Shapiro who told me, you know, Nevin always told us, don't say my name. If you say my name, you and I won't. We won't deal together anymore. I won't deal with you, and you will be shut out. I will lose nothing, and you will lose whatever I could have provided you. But by the same token, Nevin Shapiro was out in nightclubs with guys. And I did ask him at one point, you know, we talked about this aspect of, hey, what, what if the University of Miami had, had hired a private investigator? And Nevin Shapiro said, look, if they had hired a private investigator, it would have been the shortest uh, investigation that person had ever done. They would only need to follow me for a day, and they would have seen me with players doing things I shouldn't have been done. And then at one point, you know, he even said, hey, they followed my bodyguards. They would have seen, you know, things going on that shouldn't have been done. He tried to keep it quiet, but at the same time, he liked the flash. He liked the spotlight. I think he liked being the guy next to these guys and being the guy who provided uh, these benefits and liked it being known that he was that guy. Even before the penalties are even handed down, just the specter of what might happen is incredibly damaging to that program, no? I, absolutely. I think any time the NCAA uh, you know, steps in, in in what becomes a major high-profile investigation, uh, it definitely has an impact on, on recruiting. You know, we've seen it with other schools. We've seen it happen at Ohio State. We've, we've seen it throughout the Jim Trestle, Terrell Pryor issues. They, they've lost key recruits already. You know, I think that's one of the things that the Miami coaching staff has to worry about now, what is going to be the fallout or the ripple effect, um, for, not so much from the potential sanctions, but, but just really this investigation going on. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that, that this has, uh, it has the possibility of having a, a long-term impact on Miami starting today.